Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever, however, and whenever you're watching. I want to thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of The Chop Shop. So for today's episode, we're going to be talking about life inside the WNBA bubble. Now, I don't know if you remember, but a couple episodes back, we talked about how life was inside the NBA bubble. But the WNBA doesn't get a lot of recognition because of how popular the NBA is. So today, we're going to give them their recognition. So today I have Seattle Storm's Alicia Clark here with me to talk about some of the unfair living conditions that the WNBA has had to face in their time in the bubble and some other concerns that they have. Here's what she had to say about it. Um, first, hi, thank you for having me. Um, you know, it's it's kind of a weird situation because, you know, people want to only cover, you know, the WNBA or things we're doing when it's something that's wrong. And while, yes, coming into the bubble, um, you know, coming down here to IMG, seeing the laundry room and the things underneath um, our beds and the problems that we had were completely unacceptable um, from any standard. But uh, you know, the crazy thing is, is not all living situations here, not all the players are in situations like this. So the fact that there are, you know, better accommodations, it's just like, why was this even an option? Yeah, you know, once we, um, you know, raised our concerns and came to the league with, you know, telling them that this was unacceptable, um, you know, they did their part in trying to remedy the situation. Um, and, you know, it has been, you know, the players that have asked to be relocated have. Um, but the point is, is that it shouldn't even have to come to a video being posted or you guys saying something for it to be done. It should have been done beforehand. I mean, for... Anybody, this situation isn't ideal, you know, and it's not going to be perfect. We understand that. Um, but, you know, just trying to make the best of it. We all, you know, obviously are here for a reason. We want this is, you know, a completely new situation for the WNBA having all 12 teams in one place. Um, so it'll give us opportunities to come together as, you know, players to talk about ways that we can help with social justice and, you know, how we want to continue to progress the league so that it is here for another 20 years for younger girls to be able to play in. And, you know, that's something even talking about the situations right now is just holding them accountable um, and helping push that envelope forward. So it, the league is here for another 20 years. I want to thank Alicia for coming by today and sharing her perspective on the WNBA bubble and the living conditions. Um, she claimed that the WNBA has done a great job accommodating the players with better living situations after reports of dealing with bed bugs, cockroaches, and even other guests living in the same resort as them. I hope you guys are enjoying the episode so far. We'll be right back after this commercial break. probably wondering why I'm right here in my front yard chopping things. Oh, that's because I'm the owner and creator of the greatest podcast on earth, The Chop Shop. Have you heard of it? Sucks to be you. It's not just only the greatest sports podcast in the world. We're talking about stuff on and off the court, drama, current events, you name it. Want to commute too slow? Chop Shop. Entertainment? Chop Shop. Want to chop it up? Chop Shop! Hey, Every Friday, new episodes. Tune in. Don't miss it. Welcome back to the Chop Shop, everybody. Um, earlier in the episode, we talked to Seattle Storm's Alicia Clark to get her take and her perspective on the, how the bubble experience has been for her, the living conditions, and some of her concerns. So we're going to piggyback off that. And for today's team spotlight, we're going to spotlight the Seattle Storm. Established in 2000, the Seattle Storm has entered the conversation as one of the dynasties of the WNBA, winning four championships in the last 20 years. First was in 2004, four years after creating the franchise. Second was in 2010. Third was in 2018. And the fourth one just recently 
in 2020. In the early stages of the Seattle Storm's success, they were led by future Hall of Famer and veteran Sue Bird. But after those championship years, they kind of seemed bleak, weren't really producing the same winning seasons as they were, and didn't seem like they had the same spark. Until they drafted the number one overall pick and the player that I'm choosing to spotlight, Brianna Stewart, also known as Stewie. Brianna Stewart was one of the most highly rated women's basketball players ever. Her senior year, she won Gatorade Athlete of the Year, Gatorade Female Athlete of the Year, and she was a McDonald's All-American. Following these amazing accolades, she was offered a full ride scholarship to the University of Connecticut. After signing with University of Connecticut, she led them to four national championships in all her four years, which is insane. This success led her to being the number one overall pick in the 2016 WNBA draft. When Brianna Stewart entered the league in 2016, she had the highest of expectations on her back, but I don't think anyone knew that she was gonna break out the way she's doing. In 2016, she was selected Rookie of the Year. In 2017, she was selected to her first All-Star team, and 2018 was her breakout year. She won her first WNBA MVP award. Following that, winning her first WNBA championship and winning WNBA Finals MVP. Coming off a championship season and looking for hopes to repeat, the Seattle Storm received some devastating news. Brianna Stewart, former MVP, former Finals MVP, has ruptured her Achilles and will miss the remainder of the 2019 season. Going into the 2019 season, the Seattle Storm and the team knew it was going to be an uphill battle all season without a key piece of their offense and their team, Brianna Stewart. They fought all the way through the season but fell short of another Finals appearance. With Brianna Stewart returning off an injury and back to full health, the Seattle Storm's expectations for the 2020 season were through the roof. Now, due to coronavirus, the season was short in the 22 games, but they ended up tying the Las Vegas Aces for the number one record in the WNBA at 18-4. Both the Las Vegas Aces and the Seattle Storm advanced to the WNBA Finals, where it was an intriguing matchup between two of the best teams of the year. But Seattle showed that they were superior, winning a three-game sweep to take the WNBA championship and adding another one to the resume. So to conclude today's episode, I wanted to give my take and my opinion on what's going on inside the WNBA bubble. So quite frankly, it's hard to hear that when the players first got there, uh, they weren't in the most sanitary living conditions. Uh, bed bugs, cockroaches, mouse traps, even other regular families in the same resort as them. And for me, if I was a pro player, a professional basketball player, I would want to be in the best of the best facilities, just like how the NBA players are. They're secluded from everybody else. They have one of the top facilities for everything game rooms, but the WNBA didn't have all that. So the fact that players had to come out and ask for better living situations is, is, is a head scratcher to me because as a professional player, you should be in the best of the best facilities. So I was doing some research on uh, some other players inside the WNBA bubble. And I was looking at uh, a player who plays for the Dallas Wings. And uh, she was doing a vlog on how the life inside the WNBA bubble. And it shows that, you know, every morning they have to get tested at like 7 a.m. Um, the food is getting better. I know that because I know that there were complaints about the food options. The food is getting better. Um, and they don't really have much to do around the campus, around the resort. Basically, just work out, practice, uh, you know, bonding with teammates. There's not really much to do. So it can get it can get tiring at times. But, you know, they keep their head up and they know that they're there for one goal. And that's to win the championship. I want to thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of The Chop Shop. Uh, I want to congratulate the Seattle Storm for winning their fourth WNBA championship. Woo! -hoo 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 -hoo. Hey, make sure y'all tune in next Friday for another video. Stay tuned. Peace.